let me give you some decimal numbers 4.27 6.109 6.15 and 6.028 now here we are going to find the smallest and the largest numbers out of these four numbers so how do we begin we look at the numbers carefully we focus on their whole parts 4 6 6 Six. Now look at this four. This is smallest among all the whole parts. So this means that 4.27 is the smallest number among these four numbers. You know the reason? The decimal number having smaller whole part is smaller. But what about the greatest number? How do we find that? Look at these three numbers. They have the same whole part. That is six. So how do we find the greatest number among these three? In fact, we have a rule for this. So let me explain you the rule step by step. Concentrate on the three numbers. Good. Now concentrate on this number. It has only two digits after the decimal point. And what about the other two numbers? Both of them have three digits after the decimal point. So what do I do? I add a zero. to this number now what happens its value does not change but the number of digits in all the three numbers is same now now we have three numbers with the same number of digits after the decimal point what do we do now now we need to compare the tens digits so let's look at those digits 1 1 and 0 now of course 0 is smaller This means that 6.028 this is smaller than 6.109 and 6.150 now we are left with two numbers these two numbers what do we do now the tens digit are same in both these numbers now we need to compare the hundreds digits what are those digits 0 and 5 5 is greater than 0 This means that 6.150 is greater than 6.109. So what is the greatest number among all the numbers? Yes, it's 6.150 or simply 6.15. And what was the smallest number? That was 4.27. So in this video, we compared decimal numbers that had the same whole parts. I hope the concept is clear to you. If there is any confusion please go through the video again